And hello from the northwestern part of Spain. We're in San Sebastian at the Estadio de Anoeta. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary position is Lee Dixon. And this has all the makings of a highly engrossing match. It's Real Sociedad facing AZ. Hi, right, Derek, thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot, see what comes of that. Hopefully we get a good game. So the starting 11 for Real Sociedad. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. The back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. This is how the visitors will set up today. The tactical battle is going to be highly instructive. 4-3-3 on one side and 4-3-3 on the other, Lee. Well, when you match systems up, it's all about individuals. Who can get the better of the player you're playing against? And in this formation, certainly the wingers are going to be key on either side. And the lone striker, when the balls come in the box, he needs some support from one of those three midfield players making runs into the penalty area. And this confrontation is underway. Zubeldia. Goro Sabel. It's with Mikel Marino. It's with David Silva. Oh, you can't drop your guard even for a fleeting moment when you're up against Oyar Zabal. Lee, what do you think we might see from him in this game? Well, the more you give this lad the ball, the better the team normally plays. He switches the ball, he links play from left to right, up and down the pitch. He keeps possession, a brilliant player. Krupp Mainers. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Isaac. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Carlson. Carlson. Lechert. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Mikel Marino. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Subeldia. David Silva. He's given it away. Good looking pass. Danny De Witt. Myron Boadu. Cup Mainers. Now the task is to remain focused. Mikel Marino. It's with Mikel Marino. And it's with Isaac. Subeldia. Unable to keep the ball. Myron Boadu. And now Stengs. This looks threatening. Is it going to be? And there it is, 1-0, the efforts have been rewarded, and look at the celebrations.
Well, here's the replay, and I enjoy this passage of play. It's lovely to watch. Superb passing, and the thunderous strike to beat the keeper hands down is absolutely brilliant. Opening goal of the game, then. No. Well, as we can see, Real Sociedad certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Mikel Marino. Aritz. Zubeldia on the ball. Really getting stuck in. Myron Boadu. It's with Carlson. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. David Silva and he read it superbly the first half here comes to an end well an honest assessment would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in attack Lee yeah losing a game is bad enough but he's not helping his team out at all lack of movement lack of imagination too easily marshaled by the defense he's not worked the keeper at all and let's go plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Lechert. Over the touchline for a throw in. De Witt. Calvin Stengs. Now Mitsu. Pantelis Hatsi Diakos. Mitsu. It's with Kop Mainers. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. What a shocking pass, really. Mikel Marino. Lenormand. Isaac. And an astute piece of defending. We're getting the ball forward. Has a go. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. So the corner played into the box. Fine reaction from the keeper. Yeah, it looked like a good opportunity to be fair, but the keeper was more than equal to it. David Silva. It's with Mikel Marino. Silva. This could level it. 
Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, his angles were all right. His reactions were superb. Great goalkeeping. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Played into the centre of the box. And did his job defensively. Well, the host dominating possession. It really has been impressive. They're playing well in midfield. They're creating chances. It's just a matter of time, surely, before they get back into this game. Now can they counter clinically? Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Goro Sabel. On to Porto. Mitsu. Svensson. It's with Cop Mainers. Real danger. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Mikel Marino. Robin Lenormand. Just ten minutes to go. Just listen to the crowd, Derek, urging their team on. Surely they'll get another chance. Robin Lenormand. It's with Mikel Marino. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Subeldia. Well, do they have it in them to level this? Marino. This is Nacho Monreal. Mikel Marino. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Subeldia. Aritz. It's with Mikel Marino. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Lee, what did you make of it? Well, split by that one goal. That's how close the game was. Neither team deserved to lose, really. It was so tight. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple.